Well, I'm glad you're back. We're on our chairs now. We're halfway through. So if you're ready, please get yourself nice and aligned on your chair. And from class, you know what that means. That means that your feet are going to be about hip width apart. Your shoulders are underneath your ears. Your spine is straight. Your abs are tight. Your sitting bones are pressed into the chair. And your feet are also pressed. So we're going to start out this way. Let's take a few deep breaths. Let's inhale through your nostrils. And let's exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So let's start doing some movements for the arms and the legs. So I'm going to ask you, get comfortable in your feet, and then let's extend both your arms and both your legs. Extend, let's keep the arms and the legs nice and stable. And we're going to rotate the wrists and the ankles at the same time. It's going to be an outward rotation. So let's begin. We're just rotating just the wrist and the ankle at the same time. And let's stop here. Let's reverse that rotation. So it'll be an inward rotation, the wrist and the ankle. So the fingers and the toes are coming toward the midline of the body. And we're going to stop here. So let's flex the fingers and the toes. We're going to flex, you're bringing the toes as well as the fingers towards your body, and then let's point. Let's flex, and we point, and we flex, and point, flex, and point. Four more, flex, and point, flex, and point. And let's lower our feet and our arms. Slide your feet towards your body. That should bring you back into alignment. Wonderful. You're back in alignment. Let's inhale. As you inhale, lift your right arm up. Bring that right arm behind the back of your chair if possible. Uh, it depends on the type of chair you have. If you're not able to bring the, your arm behind the back of your chair, just bring it behind you. So behind the back of the chair and then twist your torso to the right and bring that left arm across your body and then you want to look over your right shoulder so you just look over your right shoulder please hold it there stay in this position as you're looking over your right shoulder just breathe and hold the stretch you're looking over your right shoulder your right arm is behind the back of your chair or behind you your left arm is across your body. And now release that left arm from across your body. Bring that right arm from behind the back of your chair. Your back centered now and you're looking forward. And we'll do the same thing on the left side. Please inhale up. Bring that left arm up. It comes back behind the back of your chair. Twist your torso to the left. The right arm comes across your body. And then you're going to look over your left shoulder and hold it there. Just hold this nice stretch. Breathing into it. Now let's release that right arm from across the body. The left arm comes from behind the back of the chair. Your back centered once again. Back in alignment once again. And now we're going to do some side bends. So we're going to inhale up with both arms. Just inhale up, palm to face, stretch. Stretch your arms up toward the ceiling, toward the heavens. And now you'll lower the left arm. Palm will face the floor, face the earth. And then just lean to the left. As you're leaning to the left, your right arm is arched over your head. And you'll feel the outer muscles 
engaged in the stretch. Let's lower that right arm, bring the left arm up, the right palm is facing the floor, left arm coming up, press that right palm toward the earth, toward the floor, and now you're going to just lean to the right, lean to your right. Left arm comes down as the right arm coming up, and we'll do the same thing again. Nice stretch. One more time to the right. And one more time to the left. Your left. And now we'll allow the left arm to remain at our side, lower the right arm, and bring your torso back to its neutral position. Wonderful. Now let's inhale up again. Inhale up. Those palms are facing as they come up toward the heavens, toward the ceiling. Lower your arms to shoulder level. Palms are facing the floor. They're facing the earth. And let's begin to rotate back. We're rotating back. Let's stop here. Please take a break whenever you need to take a break. We're going to rotate forward. And now let's stop here. Lower your arms to your side. Good. Arms at your side. You may want to move your shoulders a bit, move your arms a bit, helping that circulation, helping the synovial fluid to circulate throughout the joints. Just move a little bit. Good. Good. Let's inhale up again. As you're exhaling, bring your arms forward. Palms are facing again. And now let's open the arms wide. Lift up your heart. Lift up your chest toward the heavens toward the ceiling, and now let's round your shoulders forward, round forward, bring your fingertips together, inhale please, lift up your heart, and exhale forward, round the shoulders, round that thoracic spine, inhale up, lift up, and forward, and one more time, inhale, Lift up your heart, heart centers up toward the heavens, and you round your thoracic spine, round forward, bring those fingertips together. Now keeping the fingertips together, bring the palms together, lift the arms up, overhead, release, and the arms come back down to your side, down to your side. Wonderful. So we'll just hold it right here, just hold it right here. And we're going to do a few uh, additional hip openers. So get comfortable in your chair again. If you're comfortable with the figure four, then what you're going to do is you're going to bring your right ankle up. It will be behind your left knee. And if you would like more intensity, you're going to lean forward. If the figure four is not comfortable for you, then you can just cross your ankle, so your right ankle would cross over your left, and then you would take your hands and just give a little bit of pressure, bringing the knees apart. So it's up to you. It's also up to you whether or not you're going to lean forward. It's more intense as you lean forward. You'll feel the glutes engage more and more of the uh, lower body muscles. And we're just gonna hold it here, and we're just going to breathe into it. Now let's lean back if you were leaning forward and let's lower the right foot back to the floor. If you'd like to move that right leg around just a bit to help once again with the circulation of the, of the fluids of the body, then just move around a little bit, tap your foot perhaps, move a little bit from that hip uh, joint area. And then we're going to either bring that left ankle up 
and behind the right knee, or you're going to cross the left ankle over the right. It's up to you. And we're going to hold it here once again, and we're going to breathe into it. Remember, if you like more intensity, just lean forward just a bit. Keep your chin, please, out of your chest. Just lean forward. And we come back to neutral. If you were leaning forward, lower that left foot back to the floor. If you were in figure uh, four, and uncross your ankle, your left ankle from the right if you were crossing your ankle. And then again, you can move on that side if that's comfortable for you. Good. Just helping those fluids to circulate, especially helping that oxygenated blood and that synovial fluid, the lymphatic system is engaged because we're exercising as well, so good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, wiggle your toes a bit. Just wiggle your toes a bit. Remember, I'm speaking about that synovial fluid, and we know that the toes have joints, and so we want to just wiggle your toes a bit, maybe even your fingers a bit. The joints in the fingers also benefit from the improved circulation of the synovial fluid when we move. If you suffer from any type of um, inflammation in your joints and your physicians are recommending that you keep moving, that's because that synovial fluid circulates better upon movement. So just wiggle the fingers and wiggle the toes a little bit. Good, wonderful, wonderful. All right, so let's do a, a couple of moves of standing with our chairs as well. So let's just stand, please. So let's do a movement that's going to be very beneficial in activating almost every muscle in the body. I'm going to show you uh, three different ways depending on the level of intensity that you're interested in. So beginning, if you want to just uh, come into the very basic posture, you would just be behind your chair lightly have your hands on the back of your chair if you have this type of a chair and then what you would do is with your right foot you're going to step back so that your toes are placed in the floor behind you you can stop here and your left knee is slightly bent and you may just want to hold it here so your toes are in the floor your right heel is lifted off of the floor and your left foot is flat on the floor and your left knee is slightly bent both hands are on your chair if you would like more intensity, extend your left arm forward and lift the back leg, which would be your right leg, lift it, and your toes are pointed toward the floor, and you can just hold it here. And we're gonna hold for about 30 seconds. about 10 seconds to go. And gently lower that right leg. Gently lower your left arm. Shift your weight from side to side, maybe move a little bit. And then we're going to do the same thing on the left side. So I think I'm going to turn my chair around. So we're going to do the same thing on the left side. And again, that begins with you extending those left toes into the floor behind you. Your right knee is slightly bent. Both hands are on the back of your chair if you have this type of a chair. So that left heel is lifted off the floor. The left toes are in the floor. The right knee is bent. You can stay here. Or if you'd like more intensity, extend your right arm and lift your left leg. Left toes are pointed toward the floor, and we're just gonna hold this here. Ten more seconds. And you lower that left foot back to the floor, lower your right arm back, Move around just a bit. Shift your weight around. Help with the circulation of the fluid. Wonderful. 
wonderful. Okay, so now I'm going to get back behind my chair. Okay. And if you are able to get behind your chair. And what we're going to do is I'm going to lift on my toes. So both hands are placed on the back of my chair. I'm going to lift up on my toes, just extending up. Then I'm going to come back onto my heel, toes are pointed toward the heavens, toward the ceiling, elbows to the side, I'm pressing back. I feel my glutes and my hamstrings, the back of my thighs. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. And you exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale up. Exhale. And one more. Inhale up. And you exhale. Hold it here. As you're holding it here, begin to walk back. Walk back until your back flattens. I'm going to have to move my chair up a little bit more. You may have to do some adjusting as well. So you walk back and you want to get a nice flat back. Feet are a little wider apart. Arms are outstretched. Just just hold the flattening of the back. Hold the flattening of the back. And we walk forward. Let's just walk forward. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So that was a nice stretch for our back. And I'm just going to take my seat again. And you take your seat again as well. Let's get back on these chairs. What a wonderful workout. We're going to begin to relax a little more. So we're going into the restorative phase. How are you feeling? Good, 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 good. We're getting stronger, getting stronger, getting stronger. All right, so let's just take a few moments here. Let's get into alignment. Again, you know what that means. Feet are about hip width apart. Shoulders are underneath your ears. Ankles are under the knees. Pressing into your chairs. Inhale up with me, please, by shrugging your shoulders up. Get those shoulders up as close to your ears as possible. Then bring those shoulders back and then bring them down to the floor. So we inhale up. Shoulders come back as far back as possible. And then you bring them down towards the floor. Two more in this direction. Inhale up. And bring those shoulders back. And then you bring them down again. One more, please. Inhale up. Shrug up high, bring the shoulders back, and bring them down towards the floor. Now we're going to reverse the movement, so we'll inhale up again. Shoulders come up toward the ears, and then they come forward, and then bring them down. Wonderful. Inhale up, shrug. Shoulders forward and down. Two more. Inhale up. And forward and down. And one more. Inhale up and forward and bring those shoulders down towards the floor. Now if you'll allow your arms to be at your sides and your palms are facing the floor, just bring your, you notice my shoulders, pull your shoulders down and then release. Then pull those shoulders down so your, your palms are facing the floor and you're pulling down towards the floor. You're pressing your palms toward the floor. Release and one more. Press, bring, bring those shoulders down, wonderful. Now just move around a little bit rotate, get that synovial fluid flowing well. Let's inhale up, bring those palms together, fingertips together, let's come down the midline of the body, slowly down the midline of the body, press the palms together as you're bringing the hands down the midline of the body, press, press, And when you get to heart center, hold it here at heart center. Hold it right here. Wonderful. Wonderful. 
So let's just breathe in and out. Just focus on your breathing. Take a few moments. Let's not think about anything except let's be in the moment right now. Let's take a moment. No to-do list. No anxiety, no worry, no stress. Just take a moment. Be here in the moment. And if your eyes are closed like mine, open them with a smile or laugh. And that's it. Thank you. God bless you.